Hello guys, welcome back to another video here on the Banjo Attic page. Today we're going to be doing a banjo review on the Van Gogh Electric Acoustic Banjo. Now I'm just going to let you guys know that Van Gogh did send me an amp and an electric banjo for review today. I will be giving my personal review on it. I will not be sugarcoating it. I will not be filling you all full of a line of crap. I'm going to tell you all true from my heart what I really think about this banjo and about this amp. With that being said, let's get started. First of all, guys, I want to talk about the amp they sent me. This amp is a heavy-duty amp. It's a pretty heavy amp. It's got an MP3 hookup for your phone. It's got Bluetooth to hook up to your phone. It's also got a hookup for the um, electric banjo. It has reverb, bass, treble, all the gain. It's got a line one, two, and three, guys. It's got a hookup for your, of course, your electric um, banjo, electric guitar, whatever you'd like to play with this. It's got more power. Uh, than I really need personally. It's it will it will it's a loud loud amp. It's a 40 watt amp, uh, which don't seem like much, but it's got the boost behind it, guys, to make some noise. We'll plug it up in a minute, and I'll let y'all hear it. But uh, this is a nice uh, speaker. I've used this thing with my phone to play music on, which is excellent. It's got an excellent sound quality. There's no buzzing. There's no. It sounds crisp and clear. It's a very nice, very nice amp. Um, but we will play with it in a minute. I will hook it into the banjo and let you all hear what it sounds like with the banjo here in a minute. Now, all the things that come with the banjo, guys, uh, the things that you would you would uh, expect to come with the banjo, it's got a banjo carrying case, a gig case, I guess you could say. It's not a hard case. It's a soft case, but it's got a lot of padding in it. It's a really nice, actually, case. It's got their logo on the front. Uh, it's almost like a, a uh, what do you call it, uh, a backpack that you carry. You can put it on both arms. You can put it on one and carry it however you want to do. Uh, the stitching on it's very nice, and it's got a, several pockets to hold different things in the carrying case. They do send it, guys, with three picks, a thumb pick, and two finger picks. They're all plastic picks, all three of them. I would recommend if you get this banjo to do away with the plastic finger picks. The thumb pick will probably be okay if, it, if it's in your size. Um, you can play with the thumb pick. It's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with it. The other two picks, I've just never had luck with plastic finger picks because you can't never get them things to get on your finger right and they never they never sit on there right for some reason. I've never been a big fan of, of plastic finger picks, but they do send them. And if you're in a bind, then they will come through in a pinch. Uh, but I would recommend if you don't have them to go out and get you some decent finger pick finger picks. If you are interested in what finger picks that I do use or recommend, I got a video. I will post it up here, a link in the top. If you want to click on that link, it'll take you to that video. They send you strings, guys, an extra set of strings, which is always nice to have. They send you a tuner, which is a really nice tuner, actually. Uh, I tested it against my tuner and against my ear. Very, very accurate tuner. Um, nothing wrong at all with this tuner. You could use it for a long time. It also comes with uh, a couple of wrenches to tighten your hooks on your banjo. Uh, and a wrench to adjust your truss rod if you need to. It comes with a banjo strap to put on your banjo, to wear a strap because everybody needs a banjo strap. One thing that this banjo came with, which I was surprised, and it's actually a pretty neat deal, is that where the, um, where the um, bridge lays down on the banjo, they actually send you a cardboard cutout here of the length that it should be from your nut to the bridge. And all you do is lay this down on the banjo and set your bridge to here and it'll get you decently close. Now on this banjo, that's what I done. I didn't adjust it, I didn't measure it, I didn't do anything. I wanted to set it as they sent it, like if I was a brand new banjo player, just to see what it was like. So the banjo I'm gonna show you in a minute, that's how I set it up is with this. I put this up against the top, this against the bottom, and that's where I set my bridge at. And I haven't done anything to it since. They also send you a user guide with the banjo that tells you how to adjust your truss rod, it tells you how to adjust your coordinator rod, it tells you how to set your um, bridge, how to accurately set it if you want to measure it, it tells you how to in this book. A lot of useful information in this book that they send with this, guys. I was surprised about how much information they did have in this, uh, but it's a very handy book to have. Uh, 
banjo a little bit, guys. I put, like I said, I put the banjo together. I set my bridge with the piece of cardboard they send with you to show you where to set your bridge at. It also tells you how to accurately measure your bridge in the user manual. Uh, I just put the bridge on. Uh, the only thing I had to do on this banjo, guys, is I had to adjust the, the truss rod in it when I got it because once I put it all together and got it tuned up, it had a buzz. And so I adjusted my truss rod because the uh, neck had a little bit of bow to it. So I had to adjust the truss rod to get that out of it. And it took the, uh, as you can tell, it took the, uh, took the buzz right out of it. I haven't uh, accurately done my uh, capo with this string and uh, pushed down on this string and checked the seventh string uh, for my 10 thousandths gauge yet. Uh, I'll probably end up doing that. The banjo plays really nice. The neck feels nice as far as working up and down the neck with it. I've played with this thing for about two weeks, guys. Uh, everything on it seems to be in order as far as working and in good condition for a banjo, for a beginner banjo. This banjo also has geared tuner pegs on it, which is a great um, a great tool to have when you're trying to tune your banjo. It keeps the... the um, strings in tune a lot better. I've had this thing for about two weeks now playing with it uh, and I've had to adjust it here and there you know as far as tuning which any banjo you would uh, but it's it's kept its tune very very well. But the banjo comes with 24 hooks around the pot assembly which is nice because it not only is it more tension around the hoop and more adjustment when you're trying to tighten the tighten the head of the banjo down if you're wanting to get that pop you know on your on the head of your banjo. It gives it more of that look of an upscale banjo uh, with a lot of a lot of hooks on that. Where the, where the more of the cheaper ones, you see the less hooks on there. That's where they try to save their money at is on the hooks. Where these banjos, they don't. They they put all the um, all the hooks on there, as far as I can tell. Uh, the the finish on it is a nice gloss finish on the neck, up the neck and everything. The neck is really nice when you try to uh, fret you know fret up the uh, fingerboard. All right guys, so you've heard what it sounds like acoustically so far. Let's plug it in and see what it sounds like on the electric banjo side. Uh, the electric banjo has a plug-in on the very bottom that you plug the uh, cord into. It has a volume adjuster on the side at the top at you, which is really nice where it ain't around the side or on the bottom uh, where you have to search and figure out what the volume is. You can just look down if you were to be playing it and kind of adjust your volume on the go, which is nice. <laughs> All right, guys. So like I said, this banjo is uh, this amp is really loud at 40 at 40 watts. It's it's got some up behind it, uh, and uh, I'm driving my wife and my kids crazy right now with this thing. So, uh, so we're gonna give you a little demonstration of uh, what it sounds like. Up behind it. Oh shit, you scared the hell out of me, Daisy. I thought you was over next to your mother. I didn't even, I didn't even have to turn it all the way up, guys. This is all the way up. So as you can see, this thing's got plenty of backbone to play pretty much whatever you want to play, wherever you want to play it at uh, with the volume. It also has a, several lines in where you can plug in a microphone if you want to sing and play this at the same time. So, uh, work really well on it so that's awesome but anyways guys this is a uh, from what I can tell and what I've played with it so far this is a perfectly good banjo for a beginner especially at the price point that they're selling these banjos at uh, you can get these banjos on Amazon at the end of this video if you want to check down in the description I'll put a description that has a discount code for these banjos and the amp if you're interested in buying one uh, no pressure but there will be a discount code down in the description check them out guys Van Gogh with Banjo on Amazon and um, 
I don't think you can go wrong with it, especially as a beginner banjo. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.